Hey everyone, it's that time of the week where I've managed to find a spare few minutes. Uh, so I am going to do a what's in my pencil case video. So I'm using my new tripod which is uh, a bit fancy. Um, so I hope that this video comes out okay. So this is my pencil case. It's the Kipling 100 pens pencil case in red. It's so cute. Look, on each of the different colours you get a different animal. And this is a little red monkey. So cute. So inside the pencil case on this side here this is where i keep mainly some of the fine liners in the pens uh, so i've got a black pen um it's one of those gem pens that i think i got off ebay um in a really cute pink color then i've got some uh, stadler fine liners uh, these are some of the pastel colors and um, you'll see that i prefer pinks and purples um, to write in and to work with so uh, I've got um, pink lilac, lighter pink, turquoise grey and uh, purple then I've got two uh, Signo, um, there should be another one actually, I don't know where that's gone there, oh it's here, in another pot so I've got the silver and the gold there which is in another pot which I'll come back to in a minute uh, then I've got some gel pens, uh, gold, purple, uh, and a lighter purple. Then I've got one of the um, erase, the erasable pens, but it only works on blue fountain pen. Uh, so that's this side. And then here, uh, if I get some paper, I will show you some of the colours. So I have got five Lamy fountain pens here. The black one writes in blue ink freaks me out i need to get a lamy in blue so i can put black ink in the black pen in the purple lamy i have got purple ink in the white lamy with the turquoise dot on i've got turquoise ink in the pink lamy it I've just changed it and for some reason when it first starts off it always starts off quite purpley but I assure you this is actually if I unscrew it the ink colour is it's like a really bright pink uh, I have washed Coming up a bit more pink now. That's a pinky colour. Then I have my Lamy Joy, which is more like a thicker calligraphy style nib. Then I have my. I, I'm not going to try and pronounce this. It's a Tombow and it's um, a brush pen, it's like a calligraphy pen. So on your down strokes you can do really thick lines and on your up strokes they can be thick so I'm not a calligraphy expert obviously um and um it's a work in progress my aim is to try and improve my lettering uh, and then I just have one pencil in here, which is Kate Spade pencil. I will put those to one side and I'll put them back in later. This is a mess, I'm not going to lie. I don't know why, I've got a Traveller's Times um, insert uh, thing in there. And that needs to go in the bin. It just shows you that I didn't curate this video. Um, I'm putting there the things that I really wanted. Uh, so, cute things first. A little troll rubber. How cute is he? Properly, properly cute. Got that from Mrs. Brimbles. Very cute. And um, this is a um, Tipex style eraser, and then the other ear is a bunny ear, and it looks like a child has been having a bit of a munch at that poor bunny's ear. Again, that was from Mrs. Brimbles, and it was out of. 
I want to say the March box, I think. Um, so, erasable friction pens, and they're like they're more like a highlighter style pen. Uh, and with the friction pens, you know that you can just rub them out. Uh, so I've got a light blue, turquoise pink, yellow, and lilac in those friction pens. Uh, a page marker um, that I've forgotten where it is. So I will check where that is and I will put a link in. I'm going to put a link into all of the shops and places where I got the, the exciting things from um, so you can go and check them out when you've got time. Single whole bunch. Genius. I absolutely love this single hole bunch. It just, it's so easy to use and when you're doing, um, working with insets and doing decoration and you just want to punch one thing, Amazon for like about two pounds, awesome. Uh, cheap and cheerful Pritt stick. It's not even a proper Pritt stick. It's like, I think it's from Asda or something. That's all you need. Um, a pencil, uh, pencil expanding ruler. I don't know why I've got two in there. I don't need two rulers. But I've got one that flips out that way and one that flips out that way. The ruler I really prefer, however, which will not fit in there obviously, is my um, stainless steel ruler. But when I can't have that in there, these are good too. Um, another pencil, I think this is a paper chase one, um, but I like it. It looks very Kate Spade-esque, even though it, it's not Kate Spade rubber. Um, even though you can't tell, this is a Kate Spade pencil sharpener as well. That came in a pencil case that I haven't got anymore. I sold it because I wasn't using it. A couple of rose gold bulldog clips. A paper clip that I made myself. A paper clip from Cherry Blossom in the Market Square. Awesome, awesome shop. Uh, I'll link to that below uh, so you can go check that out. A pair of really good little scissors for being intricate and chopping. Uh, a little turquoise bulldog clip which I think came from Asda. And um, this was uh, from a little, um, I don't even know where it is now, a little tiny calendar, um, like flip over calendar that came from Kiki K that someone sent me from Kiki K. Um, but I don't know where the rest of that calendar is so it's not of much use to me now that May's almost over. Some turquoise washi that I think was from Miss Brimble's shop. A paper clip that came in my Planicon goodie bag uh, that again I can't remember who which shop it was from so I'll, I'll find out and link that below also uh, some Tombow brush pens these see-through post-it notes so it only really works on and um, with a pen so you've got a beautiful piece of um, paper and you don't want to write on that piece of paper you can just use the post-it so let's see what we've got in here okay uh, the fabric lolly things were from Mrs Brimble's and I and just put that in, cute as anything. I love lollies. <laughs> How fun's that? Um, so they were from a shop called Cute Paper Story, which is not in the UK, it's in oh, I want to say Korea, somewhere like that. Um, so you can't get them 
quickly um, but it's worth ordering and buying them in batch which is what I did um, because they're awesome and you just can't get them over here uh, so that's everything that is in the Kipling um, pencil case I do have more so I have a pen pot here don't know why is it hair slide in there so I have one two three four five of these glittery charm um, crystal the pens similar to the one that I've got in the bullet journal lilac February Brimble's box and then these other ones I think they were from eBay and that one was from Home Bargains I think um, and I love them uh, they are I think they are right in black ink black Uh, I remember the reason why I've got two of these now because that one's broken. Pretty sure black. Yeah, they're all black. A gold Signo pen. Rose gold pen. That was from eBay also. So I think. Why are my pens twisting? Pretty sure it writes in black as well, but it's not twisting up. First of all, problems. Um, I only bought it because it looked really cute um, in my planner. Um, I don't really write with it, but I think that's black. A navy sharpie. A dotty pen that in black that writes in blue ink. A Signo in white. So uh, I don't think I've got any dark paper. Um, no, I haven't got any to hand. Uh, oh, wait, maybe this will work. I love lollies. Awesome. Um, I keep seeing people using black inserts. Um, and if you're using black inserts, then you're going to definitely want a... Um, Signo pen in white uh, and then this was from my Mrs Brimble's April box teeny weeny cute little pen that writes in black so that's that pen pot um, this pen pot I have got mainly pencils paper chase uh, I think they were John they were John Lewis and they were paper chase um, I don't know why I've got a purple fine line in there because that doesn't belong in there. Um, in this one here, a black Copic marker. So the Copic markers are very similar to the um, Tombow pens. God, my brain has turned to mush since I became a mum. So it's the same thing. Ah, oh, look, my Copic has died. So. We'll send that to Pen Heaven. Uh, then I've got some um, Fabrica style pens. So these all I've got different grades. So that's a medium. That's a broader one. That's more like a calligraphy style one. a really thin one that's a bit thicker that's a really really tiny um, nib then I've got two more calligraphy style ones there Oh wow, that is a thick one. There we go. Um, another um, corrector pen and a pen for my daughter's nursery. Don't know why that's in there. It shouldn't be in there. 
and ah, I'm destroying my desk um, inside this Ted Baker. I have got a Stabilo set which opens out like this and the colours are gorgeous. Let's just do another pink one so I can show you. So a thicker, um, oh, what? They are 0.68 colour parade pens. Those are my felt tips. Uh, and I have also got some smaller Stabilo pens for on the go. Uh, in here, oh my god, about 10 million. Oh, look, felt it pens, more Stabilo pens. I think they were the felt it pens are from Tesco, I think. And then some colouring pencils, which came in a pack of 24, which I think I can get them out way really. I thought they seemed to be cute colours, so um, lots of pinks and purples, some tealy turquoisey colours. So yeah, they were cheap and cheerful from Tesco. So that is everything that is in my pencil case slash pot slash extra colouring box. Um, I hope this video has been useful. It's definitely been useful to me because it's forced me to tidy up my pencils. Um, so thank you for <laughs> sticking with me and watching and I will see you soon. Bye!